Hi, Storytime friends. Welcome to Online Storytime with the Red Bank Public Library. I'm Miss Sierra, and I'm at the library today. I wanted to sit outside, number one, because it's still warm outside, and number two, because this is one of my thankful things, and we're talking about Thanksgiving. And I love this spot, I love this river, I love that I get to look at it every day from the library. So, we're talking about Thanksgiving. I wanna show you a craft idea that maybe you can do while you don't have school during this little break. I'm starting to make a collage of all my thankful things. So, I do have water here, because I love to go to the beach, I love to walk in the woods, so there's some trees there. I have some pretty flowers and some food, because I'm thankful for food, um, friends, fun. I've got my favorite books, like Pete the Cat and The Giving Tree. So this might be a fun project for you or your family to do, to take pictures out of magazines of all the things that you're thankful for and make a cool collage. I like it. If you want to do it and send me a picture, that'd be sweet. Hey, let's start by singing a song. I got my song ball today. So, you know we eat a lot of good food on Thanksgiving. How about we do, I'm a little teapot, because I know I'll be drinking a delish cup of tea on Thanksgiving morning. Ready? We haven't done this in a while. You gotta do what I do. It goes like this. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Psh, pour out all your water. Psh, good job. Good job. All right, so I have a book about Thanksgiving, and it's about food. It's called This is the Turkey, and it's by Abby Levine. All right, let me scooch so we can all see the pictures. And here we go. It says, this is a turkey to shout about. And Max is the one who picked it out. Good job, Max. This is the pan where it roasts away for the guests who are coming on Thanksgiving day. And this is a sister who needs the bread as dad stirs the cranberries ruby red while the turkey is roasting away for the guests who are coming on Thanksgiving Day. Oh, this is the uncle with salad greens and this is the aunt with her famous beans who kisses the sister, admires the bread and praises the cranberries ruby red while sniffing the turkey that's roasting away for the guests that are coming on Thanksgiving Day. Hey, these are the cousins who come to play with Max and his sister on Thanksgiving Day. And these are the neighbors, their arms piled high with cookies and brownies and pumpkin pie. That's one of my faves. See if I can turn the page. This is a turkey to shout about and soon Max's mother will take it out. And this is the broccoli, quite a lot. And this is the stuffing piping hot. And these are the cranberries, ruby red, the yams, the gravy, the homemade bread. And this is the table, beautifully spread. This is the turkey to shout about, crispy and golden and <gasps> yikes. Oh my gosh, look what happened. They tripped, whoa, on that little toy. And there goes the turkey. Watch out! It flew into the fish tank. Oh no. Well, this is the grandma who says, Max, dear, we have all we need because everyone's here. And this is the grandpa who takes his seat. No turkey, no problem. I'm hungry. Let's eat. And this is the thanks for all that's good. Home and family, friends and food. 
This is the time to pass salad greens, a heaping bowl of famous beans, bunches of broccoli in a pot, savory stuffing piping hot, oceans of cranberries, ruby red, yams and gravy and homemade bread, and after a little time has gone by, cookies and brownies and pumpkin pie. They really still have a lot of food, even without the turkey. These are the games, and this is the fun after Thanksgiving dinner is done. And these are the guests as they go away. And this is the end of a happy day. And this is Max, who says, I bet we had the best Thanksgiving yet. They did have a nice day, even though they had a little mishap with their turkey and they had a nice Thanksgiving. But guess what? This year is going to be a little different for everybody, I think. We're going to be probably mostly having Thanksgiving with our family on the computer. But we can still laugh together and tell stories and have a good time and play games and eat our food in front of each other and I think it's gonna work out okay. So I hope that everybody's gonna do that and that you still have a wonderful holiday. How about we sing another song? I got a good mystery today. Since I was trying to think of things with food, I'm gonna play my apple game. And this is a good one for the fall too. Remember I have one, two, three, Four. Four, and I'm pretending I'm a tree, just like this tree right here. Four little apples sitting in a tree, and one fell down right next to me, and I gave it to my mommy. Now you gotta pretend to be my mommy. Grab the apple. And this is what she said. I love apples, juicy and red. And now I have three little apples sitting in my tree and one fell down on top of me and I gave it to my daddy. Here, dad, get it. And this is what he said. I love apples, juicy and red. And now, you know, I only have two little apples sitting in a tree and one fell down right next to me and I gave it to my friends, your friends. And this is what they said. I love apples, juicy and red. And now I just have one little apple sitting in my tree and it fell down right next to me. This time I gobbled it up. <gasps> And this is what I said. I love apples, juicy and red. And now I'm gonna try to get my apple back. If I do my magic trick right. Abracadabra, alakazam. Where's my apple? Shabam! Ta-da! Got it. All right. Good job, everybody. I'm going to, I'm in the back of the library, so there's people out here walking, sitting at picnic tables. I hear ambulances going by, but that's okay. I got one more story for you. This one is called Families, because that is definitely something we have to remember to be thankful for, our families, right? And it's by Shelly Rotner and Sheila Kelly. And this story is to remind you that everybody has a family. They're all different and they're all special. So here we go. This book is cool too because it has pictures of real families in it. So definitely take a look at all these people and see if you can think of your family too. It says there's all kinds of families. Some families are big and have cousins and aunts and uncles and grandparents and even great grandparents. 
That's amazing. Some families are small. Look, this family just has one, two, three people in it, but they're so cute. Sometimes the people in a family look alike. Don't they all look so happy and cute? But sometimes they don't. Some families have children born to them and some adopt. Some children have one parent. There he is with his mom. But some have two, like a mom and a dad or two moms or two dads. Others have a grandparent, an aunt, or an uncle living with them. But the people in a family may not all live in the same place. When members of a family live far away, they like to visit. They get together at celebrations and reunions. And we were just talking about that, right? This Thanksgiving, we're not gonna be able to do that so much. We're gonna have to get together on the computer. That's okay, we can do it. Families have fun. They have fun being together. They help one another. And people in a family love and care about each other. Hmm. You gotta get to the last page. It says there are many different kinds of families. What about yours? What is your family like? Do you have a big family or a small family? Do you have brothers and sisters? Um, do you have a baby in your house? Maybe you have pets, like a dog or a cat or a fish. I don't know what your family is like. I know I love my family, but I know your family is special because you're in it. That much I know. Hey, let's sing another song, all right? You know what? I have my scarf. We're going to do a scarf song. Do you have something at home that you can use? If you don't have a scarf, you could use like, um, like a kitchen towel or even a napkin or a tissue. Just something or a t-shirt. Something that you have and look how windy it is out here. <sighs> well, that's good because we're going to sing this song. It goes like this. One little scarf for the wind to blow. There it goes. Wave it high and wave it low. Shake it fast. Da -da 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 and shake it slow. Where did it go? Pundle it up and hide it. And ready? Poof! Ah! I caught it! Did you see me catch it? Let's do it one more time. It's really getting windy out here. One little scarf for the wind to blow. Wave it high and wave it low. Shake it fast. And shake it slow. Where did it go? Poof! I got it. That was perfect. All right. Thanks for singing and dancing and playing along with me today. 
Listen, it's time for me to tell you to have a happy Thanksgiving with your families. I hope that you enjoy each other's company, that you have some yummy food. Try not to eat too much and just have a good time. Be safe, stay well, and I'll see you next time for online story time. All right, bye friends.